How did I first hear about ESP? Well, I was on tour with Docket in New York, and I think we were playing someplace huge, Giant Stadium or something. I was interested in getting a specific kind of guitar built to specific dimensions. We were advised that if we wanted something really custom like that, we should go talk to the people at ESP while we were in Japan on tour, which we did. And we set up a meeting. We started talking about, okay, well, first I wanted a specific neck made, and then that evolved into this whole guitar, which became the Kamikaze, which we ended up designing within a few hours right on the spot in this music store. And they were so into it that you couldn't help but just go with the flow. The ESP guys were just jumping over themselves to get it done. It was really fun, actually, so we came up with everything and every specific dimension and all the windings on the pickups and the fret size and the radius of the neck and the wood materials and so forth and etc and the graphic obviously the process of getting the guitars from an idea to a physical reality is actually very enjoyable. I love the process of taking an idea of a guitar and then getting it to the point where it's actually something manifest and real. But in recent years, I've been getting more involved in every aspect of it, meaning that I'm more aware of how pickups are made and you know what different types of woods do to the sound of the guitar and so forth. So, and knowing those things are being Partially aware of some of those things has opened up a lot of avenues for me as far as really fine tuning how the guitar is built. It's a learning process, a learning curve, but I'm surrounded by really wonderful people that know a lot more than I do here at ESP so that I, I learn from them and then I take credit for it. So I think represented here you have 25 years of uh, the evolution of the relationship between myself and ESP. And I think what's ironic about it, which I've seen in a lot of areas of my life and other people's lives, is sometimes you end up where you started out. So it's been a wonderful journey and what I've sort of learned from the whole process is that at the end of the day we got it right, right from the start, which is the first couple guitars we built uh, have stood the test of time, which I think says a lot. I think that's a wonderful testament right there to the uh, you know implementation of a good idea and then standing behind it and building something that lasts and continues to make people happy for decades. I think we've accomplished what we set out to. Well, the reason I stayed with ESP for over 25 years now is something about me where I, I love staying committed to relationships, to situations and to people, whether it's my band, uh, label, you know, anybody I work with in the business. And it's the same with ESP. And actually, they've given me a lot of leeway as far as designing guitars. We've had a lot of success and made a lot of people happy building really cool quality guitars that have endured for decades, which is a, quite an accomplishment. So I'm really proud of what we've accomplished.